All right, so here's a look at my Alpine Whites, my Snow Whites, and my Golden, Alpine Golden Strawberries. They're all basically the same thing. There might be some slight difference between them, but they're all basically small white strawberries, but they're doing pretty good. And I do have two of the strawberries that were left over from last year from the... I think it was called All-Star Strawberry from Walmart. I bought the roots. I got them on sale. So two of them survived, and here's one of them here. And it's coming up quite nice. It's got a nice big flower in there, as you can see. And this one's coming up nice. It's a little dry. Needs some rain. And there's one here that's coming up. I don't even know where this came from. It must be a seed that came out of there or something. And now it's growing here, which is all right. That's fine. This whole area I'm letting grow into a patch. So if it wants to just turn into a big strawberry patch, that's fine with me. And there's another one popping up over there. And I think there's a few more in here somewhere. I don't know. I'm sure it'll uh, spread around. I know some of the seeds were, you know, I left a lot of the berries on it. So some of those seeds definitely got to be sprouting and grown. That might be what all of this is down here. See all that stuff down there? It might be that stuff. I don't know. But, nevertheless, they're doing pretty good, so we'll give you an update once we get some strawberries. Here's a flower ready. And we're in right in the beginning of May, so it's a good sign. We might get a good abundance of strawberries. I got to give this some soil and some nutrients, so maybe it'll really thrive a little bit more. There's my rhubarb. But yeah, just figured I'd give you an update on my strawberries, and once I start making strawberries, I will give you another update. Alright, like, share, subscribe. See you on the next one.